Hello and welcome to the Hallman Online Training Academy. In this video we'll be demonstrating some basic fault finding on the Hallman WA400 A460 sectional door control. These instructions are also applicable to the B460, the B460 FU and the A and B445. Whenever the door does something or doesn't do something you ask it, it will give you a code. 51 for door open, 50 for stop, 52 for door close. A common fault code is error code 01. This is the 24 volt normally closed stop circuit either wired into terminal X1, X3 or plugged into X10. This can be from a physical switch like an emergency stop or an interlock from another system like wheel locks on a loading bay. Error code 02 is the 24 volt safety circuit that covers the slack rope switches, the shoot bolt switch or wicket door contact. Mostly caused by the door being locked, it may also occur if the curly cable has broken, become detached or wicket door is open. Firstly, check to see if there are lights on in the curly cable box. A green LED in the centre shows that 24 volts going to the safe edge card. No light, check the curly cable hasn't been pulled out to the socket on either end, either on the bottom of the door or on the side of the track. Still no light, then the fault will probably lie with the curly cable and should be replaced. There are two other lights in the box. A yellow light labelled RSK should be illuminated. If it's not, check to see if the door is locked. Make sure the chute bolt is pulled all the way back and the switch arm is up. Check both lifting cables are tight. Failing that, check the cables for any damage. Finally, use the blue link in socket X10 in the control panel and substitute switches on the safe edge PCB until the light comes on and the faulty component can be identified. Error code three refers to the safety switch in the manual override of the motor. Normally caused by the hand chain being kept too tight against the track. The switch disengages the electrics when the hand chain is active. Press the stop on the control to see if you have a single line or a double line. Double line indicates that there is a connection issue between socket X40 and the control and the motor. Error code 4 refers to the key switch on the control panel. Normally at the 2 o'clock position, however the 12 o'clock position disables the push buttons. Turn to the 2 o'clock position for the door to run. If the key switch is at the 2 o'clock position and 04 shows, unplug from the PCB at the back. Fault code 11 refers to the infrared sending receiver in the bottom rubber. If you press down, the door will come up 11. If you then press and hold down and the door doesn't close, the fault will probably lie with the curly cable. Press down again and the door does close, the fault will lie with the optics. Inside the safe edge box, check the red SKS light. If it's illuminated, the optics aren't seeing each other. Check the bottom panel and the rubber for damage and deformation. We take the optics out of the rubber, line them up on the edge of the door leaf to see if the SKS light goes out. And if the SKS light still doesn't go out, then the sensors are to be replaced. Error codes 12, 13 and 14 are all extra safety elements plugged into X20 X21 and X22. On this door we have a photo cell plugged into X20 which we adjust 
till the light goes green. Error codes 17 and 18 refer to the force limitation of the motor. If error codes 17 and 18 are down to the programming issue, we check parameters 5 and 6. They come factory set to 1 and should be normally set to between 3 and 6 depending on the door size. We change the values, press and hold the programming button to save the information. Also check the counterbalance spring against the information on the door data plate. We can also check by putting the door into manual override. And see if the door runs smoothly or if it's binding in the track or the rollers are tight. Always action any mechanical issues before altering the program. Error code 21 says the motor is physically blocked. It's either caused by an active spring brake device or a missing phase on the incoming supply. We can check the voltage on the incoming phases and check the fuses in the control panel. We can check the doors physically not stopped by checking the manual release to see if the door can be moved. Finally, we have error code 88, 8 or 6. This is a 24 volt short circuit, normally in a safe edge system. It could either be a damaged cable or a fault within the card itself. We go through the box, disconnecting all the 24 volt cables until the display goes back to normal. If you're still having problems or you have a fault that we haven't covered in this video, please call our technical support line and we'll be happy to talk to you.